In today's video, we're going to be checking out Imaginary Author's new release, and it is called In Love With Everything. The notes featured in this one are coconut palm sugar and raspberry, a sugar accord tropical fruit punch and sandalwood. So I have the dry down on this hand and I've just reapplied it on this one. What I get from the opening is very, very sweet. This is quite sweet in the opening. Um, a little bit sickly for me personally when I smell it too close. You get a mixture of the sweet elements. It's fruity, it's again, fruity sweet. You, you get the raspberry, but it's not the most natural smelling. And you get this kind of what's described as kind of a tropical fruit punch, a mixture of basically kind of watery fruity elements that again is overly sweetened. Um, not like, not the most natural smelling thing in the world. In my notes, I wrote that it reminded me of a little bit of jelly. For the Americans, you would, I think, call it jello, the wobbly kind of dessert thing that's made, you, you get these like, little, you know what I'm talking about, little jelly cubes or jello cubes, and you mix it with hot water, mix it up. While it's in its liquid form, while you're diluting it in hot water, it's got a vibe of that. Like it smells like liquid jello or jelly um, as it's being diluted in the hot water. It's kind of that artificial kind of raspberry, strawberry kind of thing going on. As it dries down a little bit within the first five or 10 minutes, I'm getting something that could remind me even of like bubble gum, like hubba bubba bubble gum. It's got kind of a, I think it's m maybe even the texture that you, although it's kind of strange saying that you smell texture, but it has a rubbery kind of texture in the smell, which maybe is my brain's kind of thinking a little bit along the lines of bubble gum, but it's got this, yeah, bubble gum like candy sweet, very youthful kind of smell that's, I guess, a little bit feminine because of how overly sugary, confectionery sweet it is. You know, raspberry kind of bubble gum and jello, youthful, playful. Um, it is the storyline for the imaginary book for this is about uh, some teenage girls that kind of go off roller skating in some nightclubs and then try and go to a bar and they're kind of getting in trouble. Um, so it's kind of young girls having fun um, and being a little bit kind of naughty, I guess. That's the imaginary author's theme for the book of this fragrance in love with everything. And I, I would say that fits pretty well. Like I can imagine younger girls, teenage, you know, 15, 16, 17, 18, early 20s, enjoying this kind of thing. I'm thinking of like Ariana Grande's Cloud, for example. I'm sure there are older people that will enjoy wearing this and get kind of a nostalgic feeling of being young again, possibly. Um, for me, it is quite youthful. I wouldn't really want to wear it myself. The main change in this is around about half an hour, the sandalwood note starts to come through and the hyper sugary sweetness of all the fruity kind of qualities tones down, just takes a little bit of a break, starts to mellow out and the sandalwood starts to come up and you get an, a better balance, I would say, where the sandalwood kind of grounds it, it gets a little bit musky, um, think along the lines of timber silk or isoe super, kind of these woody musky molecules with um, probably a little bit more of a synthetic sandalwood but it's coming up and just providing a little bit of texture, that woody graininess um, that is coming through is, is nice. It smells more comforting, it smells easier to wear, a little bit less cloying, and I prefer the mid and the dry down of this when the sandalwood starts to become a little bit stronger. I would say that's the main transition of the whole fragrance, is this, is this transition from lowering of the fruitiness and the rising of the sandalwood, and eventually the dry down, what I'm left with on this hand, is a very soft sandalwood with a m very clean kind of musky, like isoe super musky kind of vibe with this sandalwood note. Um, basically is the dry down and all of the sweetness is gone, basically. And you're left with, like I say, sandalwood musk kind of very woody musky molecules going on that's very pleasant and yeah, very, very smooth, very soft, very kind of delicate in the dry down after a few hours. Although it's not listed as a note, 
you kind of get cedarwood vibes in terms of, uh, I'm thinking like Virginian cedar or Texas cedar, where you get a little bit more of the grain, it might not be in there at all. However, I'm reminded or get a little bit of a vibe of a little bit more of a texture going on where you get a little bit more of a kind of a grainy wood, might not be in there at all, but that's kind of a vibe that I get, a little bit more of a texture to the wood. There's also an aspect to this in the dry down that is just a little bit watery, a little bit translucent, fluid, almost like whatever is, uh, it, whatever molecules are going on in the base, it's like I say, providing a little bit of a watery-like tone to, to the dry down. I didn't really get particularly very strong coconut vibes from this. Maybe if you dig for it a little bit and you kind of want to smell it, then you kind of get a maybe a little bit of a vibe of coconut. But if it wasn't listed, I'm not sure my brain would, would think about that, to be honest. It's not, it's definitely not coconut heavy, I'll put it that way. You might get a little bit of a vibe of it now and again, if you know that it's in the note list. To me, not hugely coconut based. In terms of performance with this one, it was okay. Uh, around about kind of five hours longevity, I would say, and it's basically minimal. Like it's been, I think seven hours since I put it on. I can barely smell it. Very, very soft skin scent. I would really say five hours, you would, most people would feel like it's really gone, especially if it's around your neck instead of, you know, nose up to the hand. Five hours you'd want to reapply. You can still smell it faintly, you know, seven hours later. So around about five hours longevity. Projection sillage is within the first hour and was kind of modest, kind of normal on my skin in terms of projection and sillage. You know, it's comfortable little bubble around you. I would say it is unisex, but it does steer on the slightly more feminine side for guys that don't really want to smell like, you know, uber sweet, you know, for example, fruity sweet, then this might not appeal to you, but that's just personal taste. I'm not sure how I'd categorize this fragrance of when you might want to wear it. Probably slightly more in the colder weather. You could pull it off in the spring, wouldn't wear it in the summer, spring, autumn, winter. Daytime, if it's more casual, you wouldn't want to wear this to work. It's just too playful, too youthful, too kind of sweet I guess <laughs> too fruity sweet but if you're like you know on a weekend casual dress then this would be fine when you wear when you would want to wear it is really up to you and depends on how you feel about these kind of more sweeter fruity tones but for me it is more of a casual fragrance you could wear it going out and I think it would be one that might solicit compliments because of its sweet nature most people in the outside world that are not frag heads like something that smells sweet, you know, so this would probably do well in that regard because it is pretty sweet in the first couple of hours. To be honest, this is not one of my favorite releases from Imaginary Authors. There's there's ones in the line that I like a lot more than this one. Um, uh, it's, yeah, it's not my personal taste. If you like, you know, more kind of artificial, candied, watery kind of, fruity elements, you know, raspberry fruit, this tropical fruit punch vibe, a little bit kind of bubble gummy, a little bit almost like, I don't wanna say Haribo, but like jelly kind of sweets a little bit or jelly candies. It's got little vibes of that. It's like I say, not the most natural smelling kind of sweet accords in here. Much prefer it as it dries down with the sandalwood. But yeah, um, if you like the sweet stuff, you might really enjoy this one. It just depends how you feel about the strong kind of sweet fruity notes. I haven't got much more to say about it. It's fairly easy to describe to, to you. It's quite a simple fragrance. There's only two major changes and yeah, it's pretty straightforward. There's no crazy changes with the fragrance. So that's it. If you tried it, let me know your thoughts. Do you like this one? Um, and I will see you soon. If you want to leave a comment and a thumbs up, it does help the algorithm. <laughs> well, apparently it doesn't because it doesn't seem to make a difference. But it's nice to say hello, and I like the interaction of people actually saying, I'm here, hi, how are you doing? And knowing that people still, uh, you know, are around is, is nice. <laughs> and I'll see you soon. Take care, everyone. Bye. One time he disappeared for oh, two or three days. When he came back, they, they asked him where he'd been, and he said, oh, just sailing. <laughs>